Hello there, viewers. In the age-old question, can I get Hannah? The answer is no. He's, he's still at Doncaster, sort of. Welcome back to an episode of Boston Boys and Gareth Hanna is not, I repeat, not a Boston United player. I was surprised the comment section was split. Not everyone thought that Gareth Hanna was, was the go-to guy. I just thought things like teamwork, his physical attributes, his finishing, his first touch, his technique, his passing. I thought it was all very good. Decision making, fantastic. Um, but it doesn't matter because Aston Villa got him. Uh, then we're happy to loan him out, which I thought, great, now he, now's our chance. And then he went straight back to Doncaster on loan. Two appearances, one goal. I just just count it as the same season, guys. He's a better player now he's gone to Villa. So, uh, so we didn't get him. Um, other players we didn't sign that tried to be signed. Yeah, sure. I went for Carlos Vela. Um, he, he just doesn't want to talk. He's not doing anything. He's not got anything else on. I think he should just come and offer me. That's Gareth Hunter. Um, I, I think he should come and offer me his services for a bit. I mean, Carlos, again, just to show you, we get Carlos Vela. He's a fantastic footballer. You all know about him. You've all heard of him. He's a free agent. He's got nothing on. Did I get a history a minute ago and it went to the history of a different player? Is that what I heard? I think that's what I heard, viewers. So you can see 10 goals he got in the MLS last season. I don't know why he doesn't want to come to League Two after being in LA. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, all right, fair enough, yeah, it makes sense now. So that meant then, uh, in terms of the January transfer window, only Gale Force was brought in. Uh, it's now the 10th of February, let's run you through then what happened in January, and it's, um, I would call it underwhelming. I know we've, we're unbeaten, and it looks, yeah, we're unbeaten, we've drawn four in a row, which is not good to begin with. This game was a joke, this caused me to tweet out uh, out loud, that we're sending off 21 minutes, I thought, right, that, let's get them. So then we scored three goals, um, and then... Well, <laughs> well, yeah, uh, there was a 10-minute period in which they scored four. So it was 4-3, and then it was a late Pozzo goal on the 91st minute that got us the uh, that got us the equaliser. But I don't even want it. I don't even want the point. Just do away with it. It should be said, though, Pozzo uh, got himself a, uh, a goal of the month. I'm not sure if it was that goal. Was it? I don't think it was. No, this wasn't it. I mean, it was still good. I mean, when you see this, you'll think, this wasn't goal of the month. No, th this wasn't even goal of the month. I'll show you goal of the month quickly because it was good. It was a good goal of the month. It was the goal, his first goal of the game, uh, where he gets it back from Kirby here, and then first time, but whips one in, like that. I mean, I tell you, what a finish. Um, two goals for him. He's been in fine goal-scoring form. Six goals this season. Last year, one goal to his name. He's, he's, I don't know what's happened. He's on fire. Ike Pozzo, what a guy. So, yeah, today, uh, the, the ideal situation is two home matches and to break this drawing run that we've been on uh, throughout the January period. Of course, last time we met was the late Orient game, the Brian Turner goal. I mean... We're still, we can still remember, we can still picture it now, can't we? Kick off, pass it back to Turner. Goal. Beautiful. So efficient. I think that's what I liked about it most, viewers. Uh, there's also some sad news that uh, we drew with Scunthorpe and Marky Fletcher. This is... Da, 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 da. Got sent off. Idiot. He scored the goal, but he's, he's got a three-match ban, so um, he won't feature in the first game today, but Forrest Green he, he will be available for. Whether he deserves to play Forrest Green viewers is another question entirely. So the two games, uh, we've got Barnet and Forest Green. I probably should have waited for Ox uh, uh, Oxford and Doncaster, but I don't know where we'll be in relation to after we've won these anyway. And there's some big games coming up regardless. So I thought we'd, we'd sort of play it by ear. Uh, Barnet, Forest Green then. Let's see how we get against those two. Barnet are down in 24th. Forest Green in ninth position. We're on 54 points. Four points off the automatics. It's not looking good for us. Um, but you can see Lincoln in there. AFC Wimbledon. All games that are coming up as well soon. Uh, the game against Lincoln, of course, is our local derby. And we didn't really touch on it much last time. So I think we should probably do it this time around. Um, exciting times, though, here at Boston United. Let's see if we can do the business today. Six points is required. Let's see if we can get that job done. If we draw both games, I'll be annoyed. We're not even at match day. Look, I've, oh, dear. I was just so eager. I was too early, viewers. It's too early. Look at that plant. All right then, gang. Here we go. Team-wise for this one then. Callum Burton will be in goal. Rob France at right back. Steve Seddon at left back. Akumu at Thompson in the centre. That's become the back five now. They've, they've sort of settled down into that for the, for the rest of the season. George Cantrell, I mean, we, we miss him. We love him. He's still on the bench, but he doesn't really play now. Pozzo just in front. He was in fine form in that anchor man role because we changed it up a few episodes ago and he's thriving in there. Uh, Robinson Kirby, Alabusi one side, Kasinga Madea the other and Beachy, Ben Beachy up front. Um, let's see if he can do it. The Boston boys or the Beachy boys. Hopefully he scores so we can feel good vibrations. Everybody's getting around. Is that what it is? Everybody was surfing. Surfing the Boston way. Everybody was surfing. Beachy boys. It make, Look, 
you know the reference. Get into the game. Everybody was surfing. Editor Ben here. Not sure what this pause is all about. Surfing the Boston way. Bizarre. Right, then let's see how we get on. Uh, they've got Brody and Smart on either side. Alex Smart on that side, Pacey, someone to look out for. Hopefully, uh, he'll be well dealt with by Seddon. On the other side, Brody. He's not got too much to offer. Of course, this side are bottom of the table, Barnet. So I'm expecting a 2 0 defeat. Come on, I show what you can do. Keep the run going. I'm, I'm, I'm getting passionate with them. A few people say I show a little bit too much passion. Some people say I don't concentrate when I manage. Welcome to the channel. But here we go then, let's get into this. We're wearing the orange and black, they're wearing the blue and white. Uh, of course, Barnett usually wear an orange kit, but they're the always side, so they'll, you know, they'll, they'll succumb to the rules. Now, ideally, without Marky Fletcher, you know, this is this is going to be tough, but a good test for uh, for Ben Beachy up front. Let's see if he can do the business. Just goals, mate. That's all we ask for, just goals around here. First chance of the game, looked as if it was going the way of Barnett, and I mean, it's staying with Barnett. Akuma gets it clear, though, and um, are we able to close that down, maybe? Start some sort of attack of our own? No, we're letting them just do whatever they please, of course. The bottom of the table come here with no pressure whatsoever as they smash the post from 30 yards. I don't know why teams... I mean, we're going we're gonna to go attacking because we're playing bottom of the league here. I don't know why teams come to our gaff thinking they can just run amok. It's not, not anymore, all right? We're, we're changing things up round here. Kirby breaking forward. Is this a counter-attack opportunity? Kasinga Madea, he's got it on that left-hand side. Ball played into the centre. I love you, Sue. I mean, he's hit it first time on the volley. That is bold. They've got a few bookings on their side. Ill-discipline. You need you need a manager like me. Oh, Marky Fletcher's got sent off recently. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, another chance for us, maybe. Alabusu, can he find it through to Beachy? He can. Here we go. Oh, surfing the Boston way. I mean, it, it would have been good, wouldn't it? I've not got it on the... It's copywritten. Um, even me singing it is going to be a little bit too close to the original. So I've got to be careful. As we get towards half-time, viewers, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. A little bit disappointed. Uh, we've seen nothing so far to be positive about. So... Hmm. Right, dressing room. Let's get angry with them. Not happy with what we've just seen out there. They're bottom of the league, for heaven's sake. Terrible stuff from everyone involved. Uh, but Igumani is going to come on for Kirby, who's done nothing in this game so far. Let's switch it up. Let's uh, let's get, let's turn it 180, quite literally, facing different ways. And let's see if we can do something more in the second half. There's four bookings on their side. Let's force a, a red, please. It's a corner to... To Barnet, which I wasn't expecting to say. Burton with a good save. I mean, Alabusu on that right-hand side, he wants it. Feed it to him. Kick it to him. That was close enough. France now. Your man's in front of you. Although Alabusu's decided to just sit a little deeper. But he does pick up the ball finally. If he can get it into the centre. Beachy's there and waiting. But France is going to have to pick it up. And uh, plays it into Robinson now. Can Robinson find a pass? He does. Billy Gamali. Oh, what? <laughs> Turned into a dog there, was what I was saying. I don't... You, surely that wasn't... Was that in English or dog? I don't, I'm not sure. Regardless, uh, France into Robinson. Lovely stuff from the boys. And this finish, a first-time finish. That was the shock of it, to be honest. Lovely goal. 1-0 to the good. Barnet, just go on, boys. Go on. Start your trip now. Get the taxi going. I mean, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to fix everyone in the taxi. The coach would be... Better. I don't know why they all came in taxis to most. France, though, another chance for us, maybe. Kasinga Madea, he's been felled, and uh, it's going to be a penalty kick. I'm not sure who will take this these days. It's basically, whoever, whoever fancies it. Big Lee Man has got it. Let's see if he can pop it in for 2 0. And he can. He smashed it in for 2 0. Goodness me. Broke the netting. What a substitution. Who made it, everyone? Who made it? <laughs> you, was it? Did you make it? Yeah, yeah, I did. Look at, look at the results. Very well done. Congratulations, everybody, who was a part of that decision. I was part of that decision. Thank you very much. What is this? I don't really know. Back to the game then. Uh, we've got it at the back here. Thompson, who's uh, been a fine addition to this side, you've got to say. Robinson now on it though. And uh, Alibusi, who's been at the, at the heart of everything good, it feels like. Him and France on that side really have got a connection, a bond, stronger than just football. As uh, Vidi Gimana, he's, he might shoot again from there. He's on the hat trick, remember. Seddon pulls the ball back across. Kasinga Medea should have made it 3 0. 15 minutes to go, and Kasinga Medea is struggling for a little bit of fitness. Uh, so let's welcome into the team here, James Sayer. We've not seen him for ages. Let's see if he can put, put a good performance in, put a shift in. You would think at this stage, at 2-0, I'm going to go defensive because I've been bitten recently, viewers. Um, don't know if you've seen the 4-4, the but uh, yeah, great great football for us. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go more defensive for the, the last few moments. A little bit more conservative, not trying to you know push things down the throat of Barnet quite so often. Let's stop this train of thought and let's move on. We're playing some nice football here. Five minutes to go uh, of, of normal time in the half and are we going to build from the back I mean it looks as if we're going to have to if we're going to score from this goal as uh, Pozzo dictating everything in the centre there he's really the key to our defensive shape as France if you can slide the ball through to Alibu so he can is there a ball at the back post say it oh I mean mm -hmm. you've wasted everyone's time there defender we don't even know who you are we're just we're just going to go straight with defender anyway it's a corner and um, it's whipped in by Pozzo Beachy's there 
down to Thompson. If this isn't a goal, then we've wasted a good minute here, viewers. As, um, you know, I, no, I just don't feel it, viewers, you know? I just don't feel it. Right, well, the first part of today's job has been done. A 2-0 winning at Barnet, bottom of the league, Barnet. And we're now just within two points of those automatic spots as it gets even tighter at the top there. As I say, a lot of the sides that we play towards this back end of the season are in the mix for promotion this year. So it should get very exciting. Forest Green in ninth then. That's who we play, play next. We want to distance ourselves from teams like Forest Green and make sure they can't catch us in this promotion race. Otherwise, everything gets a little bit tighter together. So I'll see you for it in just a moment. Uh, it's Boston United versus Forest Green. Dun 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 dun. I don't know why it needed a jingle. It didn't it didn't it didn't need a jingle. I guess the best part of the next game viewers is that Marky Fletcher's back, so I don't have to try and make any more Beach Boys references. My my Beach Boys knowledge is not at its best. All right, Beach Boys, off you go, son. Uh, let's get him back. Where is he? There he is. Mikey Fletcher back in the side, viewers. Uh, and James Sayer's gone out on loan. So that was a farewell in that last game for him, really. All right, team-wise, uh, Buddy Gamana did everything to prove to me that he should start this next game as uh, we need to find a spot on the bench for Callum Gribben. Let's welcome him back. He played recently, actually. Got a goal for me. So he's in the team today. Burton, France, Thompson, Akuma, Seddon at the back. Pozzo, Robinson, Buddy Gamani. Uh, we've got Abusu, Kasinga Medea, and Fletcher. I'm uh, Buddy Gamani, I'm guessing a lot of the time. So I don't know where Mani's come from. I don't know where the bit at the end has, has appeared from. Buddy Gamana. It's, that's probably what it is. Biggity Manor, sure. I'll change it up depending on the feel that I'm having. Uh, Rob Hall should maybe feature more. He scored a lot of goals this year, but his average rating, 6.64, is really quite poor. Whereas performance-wise, we get more out of the players starting in this game. Uh, they've got, uh, is it Chris Lowe? Craig Lowe up front. Not very good at finishing, so... Yeah, he's fast, though. So, I mean, here we go, then, viewers. There we go. We've also got Gary Hunt in the middle, who actually looks pretty decent. Solid, well-rounded player on loan from West Brom. All right, then. Here we go, boys. Forest Green. Uh, we could move into an automatic promotion spot if we win here. Let's let's say that. That is bold, though. I mean, let's try and let's frighten them a little bit. You know, let's say, look, we can do this, and you can't do it. Ha, 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 ha. That wasn't the option of things to say. Yeah, they're wearing green. Quite like Forest Green. Like, you know, they stand for a good thing. So, congratulations. That didn't sound very sincere, did it? I mean, I, I listened to it back in my own brain and realized, yeah, it was sincere. I've just, ah, oh, move on, Ben. Free kick. Marky Fletcher, he loves it. He doesn't love it that much. We're not quite 20 minutes in, and uh, so far, so far, sorry, the game has been relatively even. Marky Fletcher uh, has got big shoes to fill. We've just won a game, remember, so uh, it's going to be up to him now to, to prove the doubt was wrong. That sending off was was daft, and it arguably, I, I, I want to say it cost us the game. It, it didn't cost us the game because he scored in that game, but it, it was a foolish thing to do right at the end of a game. Absolutely needless as Kazinga Medea brings it forward to Alabusu. Mikey Fletcher's at the back post. It's a challenge that comes in. Greatly timed, apparently. Very well timed. And uh, France with a great first touch there. Easy to give that away as he knocks it forward. And we're back on the ball once again. Dominant so far. Can't get out, can Forest Green. And uh, Seddon now brings it forward on this left-hand side. Ball played in. Alabusu's there from about six yards. And after the 20-minute mark ticks over, we take a 1-0 lead. I do like that about our side now. We're very patient in attack. We're happy to take our time. Alavusu, like you can see, starting moves there, playing out towards Seddon, and then getting in an attacking position. And that's what the inside forwards give you. They don't hang out wide. They try and cut inside, try and find spaces, create spaces for other players, and then fill that box, really create an atmosphere in there, which is difficult to defend against. And that's what you really want to see from Alavusu, who uh, gets another goal for his season. Marky Fletcher, free kick to make it two. Hits the post. We'll give him a... No, just tease it though, tease it, because I think everyone enjoys hearing the, the Marky Fletcher song as uh, Alabusi's back on it, finds Robinson, and there's a little bit of clear space if you can find the right pass, because Ingham Adir, good defending from number 18 for Forest Green. Fletcher with a corner, whipped in, not, not his finest work. You might have seen it there, viewers, if you caught a glance at the league table, I think, uh, we'll have to wait and see, I think we've snuck back in to those automatic spots, and I can see there that Alabusi's picked up a bit of an injury uh, off the bench. I think Callum Gribben will be the most obvious choice to bring on, but that's not ideal because he's played well so far. I am going to get him off, though. Assertively say uh, things are going well, but you're capable of better. I don't want him to sit on this, really. Again, assertively say you weren't that bad, you can do a little bit more, and then calmly tell Marky Fletcher because he gets a little bit all over the place. He gets a bit hazy. Right then, into the second half, and uh, away we go. 1-0 to the good. 55 or 53, sorry, minutes on the clock as they come forward. Kasinga Madir getting back and defending well, and now Callum Gribben, the first action of the half for him as he dribbles the ball forward expertly. Bit of Gamani on that side. I've added Marnie to the end again. Gribbins make it two and he does. Lovely substitution. That's what you want to see when you make the change. Eighth goal of the season. Gale Force with another assist. And uh, you can see there that Boston up into third position. 
Grimsby and Carlisle not too far away. AOC Wimbledon just behind us. And it's the man that I had in an AOC Wimbledon series that makes the difference. Callum Gribbon, lovely first touch, lovely finish. And uh, the keeper easily beaten as the Forest Green fans behind the goal look devastated. And rightly so. They should do. They, they, their team have not put in the performance you'd expect today. Maybe they're just not going to get away from home. I'm not sure. Gribbon free kick though. Played towards that back post. And oh, what a free kick it was. It's not going to count. But it was good football. Lovely delivery to the back post. I mean, he stood a yard or half a yard off there. And uh, yeah, I mean, the rules are the rules. It's a free kick for them. Dickinson puts it in. And McIntyre heads just over. So Forest Green are creating here and there. All right, nearly 70 minutes on the clock. Chris Lawrence is going to come in for Robinson. Fresh legs in the centre. Just keep things ticking over. Good performance uh, from Robinson. I mean, solid performance. 6.9. It's not It's not something to, to write home about. As Gribbon with a free kick now. He's gone for it. And the keeper saves well. It's been a very accomplished couple of performances. One against the bottom of the league side. That uh, traditionally this season, especially, we've struggled against. And uh, Forest Green today looks really good against. So, I mean, again, solid. 20 shots from us in this game. Really, you want to see a few more goals if you're having that many shots on target. Or, or shots in general, sorry, only five on target, and that's where one of the issues might come. It wasn't like we had loads of long shots either, so that's annoying. If I just check that, long shot wise, you've got to say though, six long shots, 20 shots overall, only five on target from that. You want to see a few more, more clear cut chances, more half chances, gives you a much better chance to win the game. But that's going to bring us to the end today, viewers. That was good though. Enjoyed this. This was fun. Right, when we meet next, uh, that's going to be pretty crucial. Let's take a look at the, uh, the schedule then. Lincoln and AFC Wimbledon. I think we've just found our, our, our next our next run of fixtures. We're in fourth position, it turns out. Oxford around us as well. I think we play them in between, so that'll be an interesting game. But yeah, Lincoln fighting for the playoffs. AFC Wimbledon just behind us. I think it makes sense as far as the next episode goes. And you can see, towards the back end of the year, Carlisle still there. Grimsby still there. Some big games on the horizon. Hopefully you'll join me for it. If you enjoyed today's video, remember, do drop a like on it. It really does help out the channel. And uh, use the, the old notification thing. I've become a YouTuber. There we go then. We love with care. From until next time. I'll see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. And also, shout out to this lovely little viewer uh, who was at Raw, WWE Raw last night, and wore a shirt with a hashtag, hashtag scene shirt on television in, in the flesh. Amazing. If that was you, thank you very much. I have your girlfriend tweeted me. So. I've not, I'm none the wiser, really. But very cool. Very cool indeed. And if you want to get yourself a scene t shirt, they're £10. There's a link in the description. And take a picture of yourself on TV, and I'll be really happy about it. I mean, there you are then. There's a. Uh, that's marketing, viewers. I mean, I'll, the, the next course will be tomorrow.